I'm Carly. I'm Kimber. I'm Katie. And we're from Kimball, South Dakota, and we're all in the Army ROTC program at SDSU. I chose business economics because from when I was in high school, I always knew I wanted to go to law school. So I just thought business economics would be a good kind of start for that. And I get to take a lot of business law classes. I chose nursing because I've worked in a nursing home since I was old enough to work. I just love being around people. I love helping if I can. Nursing in the Army is just something that I look forward to, taking care of people who are serving our country. I decided to go nursing because, again, I've always worked in a nursing home. and. Yeah, just like taking care of people. Our grandpa went through ROTC at SDSU as well, so he kind of started the trend, I think. And then our dad went through SDSU ROTC, and then Katie started, I guess, the trend with our sisters. Like, just two weeks into school, my dad's like, you really should just go check it out. Like, it'll be super fun. I ended up really liking it and stuff and applying for a scholarship that year. I've always wanted to be in the Army since I was little. I just always knew that was something I wanted to do. So then, once Katie was in, like, the ROTC program, Obviously, like, it's a good way to go in. By the time Kimber came and applied for a scholarship, everyone already knew her. So every time my parents would come visit, they'd bring Kimber upstairs and she'd talk to the colonel and everyone already kind of knew that she was coming, so. We wake up three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 a.m. for PT. And then Wednesday nights, we dress in our OCPs and we go to lab. And that's where we practice more of the tactical stuff, like ambushes, attacks. And then there's volunteer hours. We take 16 volunteer hours a semester. So we can volunteer at games, we can volunteer for recruiting stuff. It's honestly just a lot of fun. It sounds like it's kind of a lot of work, which it is, but you meet a lot of great people. We pull up, we all have the exact same car. <laughs> and we pull up at workouts in the mornings together and then we get to you know, kind of joke around and hang out and work out together. It makes being up at 5 a.m. a lot better when it's with two of your sisters, I think. Plan A, I'm gonna go to law school and then go in the Army. Plan B, I'm gonna go active duty in the Army. Plan C, I'm gonna go to the National Guard. Plan D, I'm gonna go to the Reserve, so. Like no matter what, honestly, the Army has set me up to be able to have a job at least for four years, and then if I choose to get out, SDSU has set me up for the business world, so either way, I think I'll be prepared. I'm not really in a leadership position yet, but it's definitely taught me more like, accountability and being able to manage my time. It's not just Army stuff you're learning, you're just learning how to be a good person all in general. Our family was chosen for the military family of the game for the NDSU football game on November 4th. We all got to sit together and be together, which is just fun because you don't really get a lot of time like that when you're in college with your parents. And then dad got to shoot the cannon off at the game, which I think was like one of his dreams because they didn't have the cannon when he went to school here. Um, we're all really big deer hunters. I think Kimber, when she started deer hunting, they took her out on her birthday every year. Me and Kimber both wrestled when we were younger. And then as soon as we were all old enough to get our motorcycle license, we all got our motorcycle license. And then we all have dirt bikes. When we lived in Kimball, we had a dirt bike track in our backyard. So we've been riding since we had training wheels on the dirt bikes. I'm sad I only get to be here one year with them, but I try to like get together for dinner every week or every other week. And we have a cousin who goes here too, so I'm sad it's almost over. It's scary, but it's also kind of exciting. We could someday be all stationed together, which would be super cool. I don't know what the odds are of that happening, but they need nurses everywhere and they need lawyers everywhere. So hopefully someday. <laughs> yeah. We get really lucky. Yeah.